If you could build wealth that lasts for centuries, would you? Imagine knowing that the financial decisions you make today will echo through generations, creating security, opportunity, and a legacy for your children, grandchildren, and beyond. It's a powerful thought, isn't it? What if your family's future didn't depend on hope or luck, but on a blueprint that you started building right now? That's the essence of generational wealth. Wealth that doesn't just stop with you, but grows and thrives long after you're gone. So what exactly is generational wealth? In simple terms, it's money, assets, and resources that are passed down from one generation to the next. This isn't just about leaving behind an inheritance, it's about creating a solid financial foundation that can sustain your family for years to come. Whether it's property, stocks, a business, or even valuable knowledge, generational wealth is the key to ensuring your family's financial future. But here's the thing, most families struggle to hold on to that wealth. In fact, studies show that about 70% of wealthy families lose their fortune by the second generation and 90% lose it by the third. It's called the three generation curse. The idea that by the time your grandchildren are in charge, everything you built could be gone. Why does this happen? It's usually not because of bad luck, but rather a lack of planning, education, and financial literacy. Wealth without a strategy is a recipe for disaster. That's why preserving wealth over the long term is so critical. Building generational wealth isn't just about accumulating assets, it's about protecting them. It's about teaching the next generation how to manage that wealth, how to invest wisely, and how to make decisions that will ensure financial stability for years to come. By taking the right steps now, you can break the cycle of wealth disappearing within a few decades and instead create a lasting legacy, one that provides not just financial support, but also opportunity and freedom for future generations. So would you build wealth that lasts for centuries? Because that's not just a dream. With the right mindset and planning, it's something you can start today. But first, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more videos. Now, before we get into the strategies for you to build generational wealth, we must first talk about the history of how generational wealth began and a real life example from the Rockefellers. The concept of generational wealth has existed for centuries, often shaping entire societies and civilizations. In history, those who accumulated and passed down wealth were often the ones who wielded the most power and influence, creating dynasties that ruled empires, controlled resources, and shaped the course of history. From ancient royal families to wealthy landowners and industrial magnates, wealth was often reserved for a select few. But by looking back at these examples, we can gain a deeper understanding of how generational wealth has shaped the world and how we can apply these lessons to build wealth that lasts for generations today. In ancient times, royal families were the clearest examples of generational wealth. Kingdoms and empires were passed down through bloodlines, with power and wealth concentrated in the hands of a few elite families. Take, for example, the Egyptian pharaohs, who ruled for thousands of years. These monarchs controlled vast lands, natural resources, and treasures, all of which were passed down from one generation to the next. Their wealth wasn't just measured in gold or silver, but also in the land, resources, and political power they controlled. The same can be said for the monarchies of Europe. Families like the Habsburgs in Austria or the Tudors in England built dynasties that spanned centuries. Their wealth came from land, resources, and the taxes levied on their subjects, but it was also tied to political influence and strategic marriages. These families used their wealth to strengthen their position, often through the ownership of vast estates, castles, and lands that were passed down to heirs, ensuring their financial dominance over generations. However, wealth was not always inherited through bloodlines alone. In the Middle Ages, landowners, particularly in Europe, became prominent figures in the story of generational wealth, feudalism, a system where land was the primary currency of power, allowed noble families to control large swathes of territory, which provided them with both resources and labor. The more land a family controlled, the more wealth they could generate through farming, mining, and trade. This wealth was then passed down through generations, often ensuring that noble families maintained their power and influence for centuries. Land was not only a source of income, but also a way to ensure long-term wealth preservation. Owning land meant owning the means of production, agriculture, raw materials, and the ability to generate sustainable income for generations to come. The landowning aristocracy became a key feature of European society, with wealth concentrated in the hands of a few families, many of whom still hold significant influence today. But generational wealth wasn't just about land, it was about diversification. 
As the world began to industrialize in the 18th and 19th centuries, a new class of wealth builders emerged, industrial magnates and entrepreneurs. These individuals weren't born into royal families or noble estates, but they built empires that rivaled the wealth and influence of kings and queens. They understood that wealth, if managed properly, could be multiplied and passed down through generations. We will get to how you can build generational wealth for yourself. But first, we have to talk about one of the most prominent examples of this, the Rockefeller family. John D. Rockefeller, born in the early 19th century, didn't come from a wealthy family. But through his strategic investments and business acumen, he built one of the largest oil empires in the world. His company, Standard Oil, revolutionized the energy industry and made him one of the wealthiest men in history. But Rockefeller didn't stop there. He understood the importance of preserving and growing his wealth for future generations. He created trusts and foundations, ensuring that his wealth would be passed down and managed wisely by his descendants. Today, the Rockefeller family remains one of the most influential families in America, with a legacy that spans both business and philanthropy. The Rothschilds offer another compelling example. Originally a family of bankers from Frankfurt, Germany, they rose to prominence in the 18th and 19th centuries by building an international banking empire. By creating a network of banks across Europe, the Rothschild family was able to accumulate immense wealth, which they passed down through generations. Their strategy was clear, diversification of investments, control of financial institutions, and a strong focus on long-term planning. The Rothschild family was not only one of the wealthiest families in Europe, but also one of the most powerful, with influence that extended into politics, economics, and culture. These industrial magnates and entrepreneurs, much like the royal families of old, understood that generational wealth wasn't just about accumulating riches. It was about creating systems that allowed wealth to be preserved and grown. Trusts, foundations, and diversified investments became the tools that allowed families like the Rockefellers and Rothschilds to maintain their wealth over centuries. They weren't just focused on making money in their lifetime. They were focused on creating lasting legacies that would stand the test of time. The last surviving grandchild of the Rockefeller patriarch, David Rockefeller, died at age 101 in March 2017. His oldest son, David Rockefeller Jr., continues to protect the family's financial security and philanthropy. The Rockefeller net worth is currently valued at $8.4 billion, spread out over 170 heirs. The family's various trusts have helped fund projects ranging from the arts to international trade. Throughout history, we've seen how the few who understood the power of generational wealth shaped entire societies. Whether it was royal families who controlled empires, landowners who managed vast estates, or industrial magnates who built business empires, the lessons are clear. Building and preserving wealth takes planning, strategy, and a long-term mindset. By learning from the past, we can create a future where wealth isn't just for the elite, but for anyone willing to invest in their family's legacy. Building generational wealth is more than just creating financial security for yourself. It's about setting up a framework that allows your family to thrive long after you're gone. While accumulating wealth is important, the real challenge lies in preserving and growing it through multiple generations. Here are key strategies that can help in building wealth that lasts followed by a closer look at how to break the so-called three-generation curse. Key strategies for building generational wealth. One, smart investments, diversification, real estate, and stock market investing. One of the most important strategies for building generational wealth is making smart investments. The first rule of smart investing is diversification, spreading your investments across different asset classes. Diversifying helps reduce risk, ensuring that if one investment doesn't perform well, your other assets can help offset the losses. Create a balanced portfolio that can weather economic downturns and continue growing over time. Real estate is often considered one of the best investments for building generational wealth. Unlike many other assets, real estate tends to appreciate in value over time and provides a tangible, stable asset that can generate income through rent or resale. Owning property also allows you to pass down an appreciating asset to future generations, offering them not just a place to live, but an opportunity to grow their own wealth. Stock market investing is another critical component of wealth building. While the stock market may be volatile in the short term, historically, it has provided strong returns over the long term. Investing in stocks allows you to grow your wealth through dividends, capital gains, and compound interest. 
helping your money grow exponentially. By choosing a mix of stable, blue-chip stocks and growth-oriented stocks, you can create a portfolio that grows in value and provides financial security for your family. In both real estate and stock market investing, the key is patience. Wealth doesn't grow overnight, and the best results come from long-term, consistent investing. By focusing on the long game, you create wealth that has the potential to multiply over time and be passed down to future generations. Two, asset protection, trusts, legal structures, and tax strategies. Building wealth is one thing, protecting it is another. Many families fail to protect their assets, leaving them vulnerable to taxation, legal disputes, and mismanagement. One of the most effective ways to protect your wealth is by creating trusts. Trusts allow you to control how your wealth is distributed after your death, ensuring that it's not squandered or misused. A trust also shields your assets from estate taxes, creditors, and legal battles, keeping them safe for future generations. Another critical strategy for asset protection is using legal structures like limited liability companies or LLCs or family limited partnerships. These structures allow you to separate personal liability from your business or investment assets, which protects your wealth from lawsuits or creditors. They also offer tax benefits, enabling you to pass down wealth with fewer tax obligations, thus preserving more of your assets for your heirs. Tax strategies are crucial when building generational wealth. Without a well-planned tax strategy, estate and inheritance taxes can significantly reduce the wealth you pass down. By working with financial advisors or estate planners, you can structure your wealth in a way that minimizes your tax burden. This could involve gifting assets during your lifetime, establishing charitable foundations, or using tax-deferred investment accounts. 3. Education and Mindset – Teaching Financial Literacy and Wealth Management Generational wealth can only last if each generation is equipped to manage it. Financial literacy is the cornerstone of long-term wealth preservation. Teaching your children and grandchildren about budgeting, saving, investing, and managing debt is essential for ensuring that they understand the value of money and how to grow it. It's not enough to pass down wealth. You have to pass down the knowledge and skills needed to manage it wisely. Encouraging a wealth-building mindset is equally important. This involves teaching future generations to think long-term, to prioritize saving and investing over immediate gratification, and to make decisions that will grow and protect the family's wealth. By instilling these values early, you ensure that your descendants are responsible stewards of the wealth you've built. 4. Philanthropy, creating a lasting legacy while reaping tax benefits. Philanthropy can play a key role in building generational wealth, both in terms of creating a lasting legacy and providing significant tax benefits. Giving back through charitable donations, endowments, or foundations allows your family to make a positive impact on society while also preserving your wealth. Many wealthy families set up family foundations that support causes they care about, which not only ensures that their legacy is remembered, but also provides tax benefits. Charitable contributions can lower your taxable income and reduce estate taxes, meaning more of your wealth is preserved for future generations. Philanthropy also teaches future generations the importance of giving back and helps them stay grounded, ensuring they don't become disconnected from the realities of wealth. Now on to the important part of creating generational wealth, breaking the three-generation curse. There's an old saying that goes, shirt sleeves to shirt sleeves in three generations. It refers to the phenomenon where the first generation builds wealth, the second generation enjoys it, and the third generation loses it. This pattern is shockingly common. Approximately 70% of wealthy families lose their fortune by the second generation and 90% by the third. The reasons for this are often poor financial management, lack of education, and a mindset of entitlement rather than responsibility. Breaking the three-generation curse requires constant education and planning. As mentioned earlier, financial literacy is key. You need to ensure that every generation understands how to manage and grow wealth. This means having regular family meetings about finances, involving younger generations in wealth management decisions and ensuring they are educated about investments, taxes, and legal structures. Setting up trusts and other legal structures as previously discussed is another essential strategy for avoiding the curse. A well-structured trust allows you to control how and when assets are distributed, ensuring that they are not wasted by future generations. Trusts can also protect your wealth from external threats like creditors or lawsuits, safeguarding your family's financial future. Finally, family governance plays a vital role in preserving generational wealth. 
This means establishing a formal system for how wealth is managed and passed down through generations. For instance, wealth passed down to the next generation could start at age 35 or 40 and required for the heir to be employed to receive their inheritance distribution monthly. Family governance can include creating a family constitution, appointing a family council to make financial decisions, and setting clear rules and expectations for how wealth should be used. By creating a formal system, you reduce the likelihood of conflicts, mismanagement, or entitlement that can lead to wealth being squandered. Building generational wealth is not just about accumulating money, it's about making strategic decisions that will allow your wealth to grow and be preserved for future generations. Through smart investments, asset protection, education, and philanthropy, you can create a financial legacy that lasts. And by breaking the three-generation curse through asset accumulation, education, trust, and family governance, you ensure that your hard-earned wealth isn't lost but instead becomes a lasting foundation for your family's future success. Generational wealth isn't just for the rich, it's for those who plan. Watch this video next that I selected just for you. Thanks for watching.